In this video, we'll demonstrate how to create an op mode that does basic line following. We'll have the robot follow the right edge of a white strip of tape for three seconds. It will do this by turning slightly left when it doesn't detect the line and slightly right when it does. There are several sensors we might use for line following. In this case, we've chosen the Rev Color Distance Sensor. It's also known as a Color Range Sensor or a Color Proximity Sensor. We'll use it to detect the change from the low reflectivity of a First Tech Challenge map to the high reflectivity of white gaffer's tape. You'll need to create a config file that includes the distance sensor and two motors. Here are some hints on what to select when you create that file. We've mounted the Rev Color Distance Sensor on the front of a robot with the sensor pointing down towards the mat. We plugged the sensor's cable into an I2C port on the Rev Expansion Hub. In order to follow the white line, we first need to know what range sensor value to expect when the sensor is over the line. We'll use a sample program built into the Robot Controller app to do so. It's accessed by creating a new op mode and selecting the Sensor Rev Color Distance Sample Program from the drop-down menu. Once it's created, we can select it from the driver station, init it, and run it. When we position the sensor over the mat, we see values of about 30%. When we position the sensor over the white tape, we get a reading of about 90%. In our program, we'll use a threshold to decide when to turn towards the line and when to turn away from it. We can average the 30% and 90% to get a threshold of 60%. When the sensor reports less than 60% light reflected, we'll turn towards the white line. When it reports greater than or equal to 60%, we'll turn away from the tape. Now let's write the op mode for line following. Here's the start of a program that drives a robot with the motors set to 10% power. We want our op mode to operate for three seconds, so we'll use the get runtime block in the linear op mode folder. Let's create a variable called start time that we'll use to record the value of runtime when play is pressed, so we can keep track of how much time has elapsed since play was pressed. Now let's add blocks to the repeat while block so it will exit after three seconds or when stop is pressed. We'll add an and block and place the existing check of op mode is active in the left side. On the right side, we'll put a compare less than. We'll fill in the compare with a subtract that gives us the seconds since play was pressed, that is, get runtime minus start time, and compare that value to three seconds. This will cause the repeat loop to stop after three seconds. Inside the loop, we'll use an if do else block. For the if condition, we'll compare the sensor reading to 0.6, or 60%. Because we want to follow the right edge of a strip of white tape, left is towards the tape and right is away from it. So when the reflected light is less than the threshold, we know we're over the mat and we need to turn slightly left towards the tape. For our left turn, we'll use motor power values of 5% and 15%. Otherwise, we'll assume we're over the tape and we want to turn slightly right so we don't cross the tape. We'll use the power levels for the wheel motors of 15% and 5%. Let's test out our new op mode. Seems to be working. Let's look at it again from above. Zooming in. We'll call that close enough for now. We've demonstrated how to create an op mode that does basic line following. You can adapt this solution to other sensors like the Modern Robotics range sensor. It can also be adapted to other colors of tape by adjusting the threshold used to decide which way the robot should turn. You can also improve the code so the line following is smoother or more efficient. You might research a subject called Proportional Integrated Differential Control as that approach may give you better results than we've shown here.